Hey there, and welcome to our workout. I am so excited that you're here for this workout. We are gonna be working the posterior chain, and we are gonna be doing it unilaterally. So this is gonna be a really fun, but it is also gonna be a tough workout. So we're gonna get right into our warm up. then we'll get into the workout. Just before we get started, a couple of things that you will need for this workout will be your dumbbells. I'm probably gonna use 15 and 20 pounds. I might go a little heavier, but it's going to depend. Again, this is gonna be a tough workout. Also, I have my mat. We're gonna be on the ground for a few of the exercises. Optional today, if you have it, will be a kettlebell. I'm gonna use my 20 pound kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, you can use your dumbbell for those exercises as well. But let's get started with big arm circles back to get everything nice and warm, breathing. Just keeping a slight bend in your knee, but keeping your chest up. Three more, and then we'll take it forward. Here's three, two, and one. So I keep looking down. I see my post-workout snack on my shirt, so, <laughs> you know, that's okay. <laughs> but I was having some oats, um, and yeah, must have got a little crazy. Got to stay energized for our workout. I knew this was going to be a tough one, so. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Let's take our legs out nice and wide into a sumo squat position. So toes are going to be out. We're going to squat down. When we come back up, we're going to reach nice and tall, and then we're going to go up on our toes. So we're going to come down. We come up, bring it up on the toes, and down and up. So we're gonna try to warm up all the muscles that we're gonna be working in that posterior chain. If you're not familiar with the posterior chain, it is a serious powerhouse in the behind side. Okay, so it is the hamstrings. It's the glutes, you got your lats, your erector spinae, and then also the calf muscles. So really some big muscle groups in there bring a lot of power. So it is super important to have a strong posterior chain. Down and up, good, last one. From here, bring your hands on your hips. Walk your feet in a little bit to about shoulder or just past shoulder width. Hands on the hips, we're gonna do good morning. So slight bend in the knee, drive the hips back. Back is flat. So here we go, we're down. And squeeze. Posterior chain is not only a powerhouse, it is also really important to help with stabilization and balance. So it helps to keep the knees stable, hips stable. It's just all around super important. Uh, just in the way that we move. Drive them back, hold it for a second, take your time in this, really stretch out, and then squeeze and push forward. Back, so bringing that chest down towards the ground, but thinking about keeping your chest parallel to the ground as you come down and up. Almost through this, and then we're gonna move to the mat to finish our warm up down there. So last one, drive the hips back, squeeze, and up. Now bring it to the mat. We're going to do a glute bridge. Good. So from here, hands on the mat. No dumbbells for this, but take your time. So weight stays in the heels. Driving those hips up. Squeeze, hold it, and then down. Right back up. Squeeze, and then down. Keep your knees in line with your toes. So don't let your knees fall in or out. Especially when we're warming up, we're gonna really focus on form, taking our time through the full range. We're gonna do four more. And again, we're working unilaterally. If you joined me last week for last week's workout, we did another unilateral workout. Working one side of the body and then the other can really help us identify any muscular imbalances, even those out and also prevent injury. Two more and increase our um, balance as well. Exhale as you squeeze up. We've got one more and then we're going to flip it over for a reach and tuck. So last one down, drive it up, squeeze. Super important that you're taking the time to get warm right now so we can really start out going heavy from the very beginning. So getting a warm up in will really help you maximize your workout. So on all fours here, we're going to do and extend and a tuck. So opposite leg to opposite arm extends out and then we tuck in, squeeze, exhale here, out. So this is helping warm up a lot of the posterior chain here and squeeze. So we're feeling this in the back, out, squeeze and exhale. 
two more and then we'll switch sides and this will be our last warm up move. Squeeze, one more, out, and tuck. Good, switch it over. So opposite arm reaches, opposite leg, and then we tuck. Bring them in together, here we go, tuck. So for today's workout, most of the exercises we will repeat twice. However, some of them we will only do one time through each. So I'll give you a heads up when we have those coming. Whew. Good, breathe. You've got two more. Extend, really extend, extend. Really tuck and exhale. And last one. And from here, we're gonna get ready to get right into the workout. If you wanna start your watch, you can do that. And you're gonna grab your dumbbells for a rear stepping lunge. So for this first exercise, we're gonna do two times on one side, two times on the other. So a rear stepping lunge, something pretty heavy for this one. So grab your dumbbells and let's do this. All right, so shoulders roll down and pack. Keep nice, strong posture. Starting out again, staying on that same side. In three, two, here we go. Down and up. Now, if you find that lunges bother your knees, you don't have to take this quite as low. You can take it down just a couple of inches and then back in. So that'll still help you activate the glutes and the hamstrings here. Take your time. Exhale right here with the push up. Good. Couple more reps. And then we get one more chance. So decide right now if you need to go up and wait, maybe down. We've got three. Here's two and a one. Nice job. All right, adjust your weights if you need to. Shake it out, breathe. Anytime you need to grab a drink or dry off, make sure to do that. 10 seconds, we go again. So shake it out, get ready, get into position. Here's three, two, let's go. Up. Good. Down and press over halfway now. Just switching sides for the next exercise. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Ah, shake it out if you need to. Feeling it. It is already warm. All right, so same thing. Other side, grab your dumbbells. And again, you don't have to take it back or sink it down quite as far if you find it's bo it bothers your knees. So let's begin. Down and up. Halfway. Weight stays in the heel. Good, almost there. All right, timer's ticking. Here's three, two, and one. Nice. Shake it out one more time. It's gonna go by quick. So get into position, shoulders roll down and back. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Let's begin. Now, as we start to work one side and then the other, take note of any muscular imbalances that you might find. And so you may notice that maybe one side is easier than the other. Maybe one side you find you have better balance. So you can take note of that and that will help you identify what side you might need to build up to try to even out. <sighs> Almost there, and then this is gonna be the last one. We're gonna go into a single leg Romanian deadlift next. So that's where, if you have your kettlebell, you can grab that. But here's three, two, and one. If you do not have a kettlebell, 
You can hold onto the dumbbell just on the bar with both hands, but we're gonna do a single leg. So holding on, leg back, we go in three seconds. Here's two and one. So bring it down. Now if you find that bringing that leg up is not allowing you to keep your balance, you can keep that leg down in the back. So it'll look just like this. So we're, done, we're down, we're driving those hips back, slight bend in the knee, pull and squeeze up. So either way with the toe down, or if you're lifting the leg, think about bringing that chest down towards the floor, but keeping that chest parallel. So you don't want your back rounding or arching. Hips are also staying square to the mat, so don't let your hip open up. Good, and here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Same thing, same side. We're going at it again. Just about 10 seconds, so get ready. Back into position. Slight bend in the knee. Shoulders rolled down and back, and here we go. Keep the dumbbell or the kettlebell nice and close to your leg. And take your time, stay focused. Squeeze at the top. Good. Almost there. And here's three, here's two, and we're up. Nice. Now we get to switch sides. So same exercise, opposite side. Switching our foot forward. Now again, you can do a more kickstand where you keep that leg down in the back, or you can lift it up. So you've got two options there, but we've got to begin. Here we go. Down, keep those hips square. Good. And just let your eyes follow along as you go through this exercise. Good. Here's three, two, and one. Ooh. One more time. Once more through that. So breathing. 10 seconds, rest timer is not on long today. So that really challenges us during this workout. So shorter rest, really challenging. Roll it down and let's go. Last time for this. So get excited about that at least. <laughs> and squeeze. down. Remember, back flat. Next exercise, we're going to bring it down to the mat. We're going to do a single leg glute bridge. So if you want to use dumbbells, you can. Good. And there's three, two, and one. Nice job. All right. So bringing it down to the mat for that single leg Glute bridge, we're gonna do that. You also might wanna grab some dumbbells for Renegade Row, because we'll be down there for that as well. So, I'm gonna just have a couple sets down with me. Single leg glute bridge. You can bring your leg up, you can cross it over, or you can, again, do a kickstand, where you just keep a light balance on the heel. If you're using one or two dumbbells, they're gonna go right on your hip, and let's begin. And down. Squeeze, hold it up. Try not to hold it too long at the bottom. We just drop those hips down and we go right back up. Squeeze and exhale. Good. Ooh, this one is tough, oh my goodness. Drive it up, squeeze it, hold it. Almost there. 
Last three, two, slowly bring it down. Ooh. Shake it out for a second. We're gonna do that again, same side, same exercise before we switch. So let's get ready. Bring that leg up or cross it over or keep the kickstand and here we go. And down. So if, you gotta, if you're using more of a kickstand, just a slight balance on that heel. So you really wanna focus on the one side that you're working if you've got that leg down. Make sure your knee is falling in line with your toe, not out, not in. Squeeze it up. Oh, almost there. Time for one more, and then we get to switch it. Here's three, two, and down. Good. Ooh. Shake it out. Now this side gets to rest. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> All right, so same thing, you can keep um, a heel out, cross it over or up, but we've gotta go in three, two, and one. Here we go. And down, good. Few more reps, keep it strong, keep it up, squeeze. Oh, good, last one, because we've got three, two, and one. Bring it down, rest it out. Breathing. Good news is the next two exercises that we have, we'll just work it one side, one time on each side. So that will be, that'll be a bonus. All right, we gotta go again. So get your position ready. Here's three, two, and let's begin. Squeeze it up and down. And squeeze. Good, exhaling as you lift. So really breathe out, squeeze. Control it down, don't hold it long. Get it right back up. Ooh, almost there. Ooh. We're gonna flip it over on all fours next. Here's three, two, and one. Down. Good. Well, we won't be on all fours, actually. We'll be on our belly because we're gonna do uh, a Superman. We're gonna do opposite arm to opposite leg, one side and then the other. So lay it down, we go in three, Here's two and one. Lift, hold it, control it down. Right back up. So don't think about trying to lift your arm and leg as high as you can. Make sure you're focusing on the contraction, so the squeeze in that muscle. So think about squeezing the glute here as you lift your leg. You can feel the contraction right down your spine as well, or those erector spinae muscles along the sides of your spine. Lift it up, good, hold it, three, two, and one, down. Now we're just going to do the same thing, opposite side. So opposite hand, opposite leg are gonna lift and lower. Ooh, breathing, we've got three, two, here we go. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Get it up, hold it up, and then control it down. Well over halfway, keep it strong. Remember, focus on the contraction. Don't think about trying to get your arm and leg up as high as you can. I'm just lifting it up just a few inches. It feels anyways, maybe about six or eight inches. Last one. Here's three, two, and one. 
Ooh, good. Now we're going into, if you want to use your dumbbells, you can. We're going to go into a renegade row. We're going to focus on one side and then the other. So we're going to work one on the right side, one on the left side. You can grab your dumbbell if you're using that. Wide plank. So get those legs out wide for a strong base. And here we go. Same side. Now you can also do this down on your knees, but keep that wide position here and row. And if you're doing it without the dumbbell, think about squeezing shoulder blade around spine. So you have quite a few options with this one. Pick whatever option is best for you because that's where you're gonna get the strongest is when you are working at your max at whatever level it may be at. But focus on form. Whew. Keep wrist straight. Last one. Two, one. Oh, nice. Breathing, we're just gonna switch sides. So rolling over to that other side. Make sure in the plank, shoulder, elbow, wrist, all in line. Take that wide stance. And here we go. Squeeze. Don't let your shoulders roll open. So make sure shoulders are staying square. Squeezing legs, squeezing glutes. Exhale with the squeeze. If you find your back is starting to round, round or arch, make sure you bring it on the knees and focus on that row. Here's three, two, one. Oh, nice job. All right, now we are bringing it up. This is where if you have your kettlebell, grab that. We're gonna go into a single arm kettlebell swing or dumbbell swing. If you're holding onto the dumbbell, you're gonna hold on right here onto the end of that weight. But grab the kettlebell or dumbbell, get into that swing, get, get a little momentum going, and we got it, here we go. Here is really where that power comes into play. Drive the hips forward, back flat. We're driving the hips back, we're powering forward. Slight bend in the knees, this is not a squat. We're driving the hips back and powering through. Almost there. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Carefully let the kettlebell swing or the dumbbell so you can set it down. When you've got that momentum going, you don't wanna just slam things down. <laughs> just let it gently slow down. But we gotta go again. Grab it, we've got three. Here's two and one. Good. Think about keeping the arm about parallel to the floor. You don't need it to come up too high past shoulder. Drive the hips back. Good, keep it up. Almost there. We've got three, two, and one. Let it swing. We're switching sides. So we're just gonna switch sides. We've got 10 seconds. Roll the shoulders down and back. Get a strong stance, slight bend in the knees. Bring that chest down, back stays flat. Drive the hips back, power through. Let's start swinging. Timer is on. Exhale as you drive those hips forward. Come on, over halfway. Whew. Hands and glutes are on fire. Almost there. Three, two, let the kettlebell swing a little bit. 
You can set it down, shake it out. 15 seconds. <clears throat> we go again. Hey, we are close. We have almost made it. Grab it. Let's get the swing going because we've got just a few seconds. Whew. All right. We've got three, two. We're all in. Here we go. Good. Come on, you're halfway. Remember, think about driving those hips back. Exhale, power through. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Just under 10. Keep it up, that's a few reps. Here's three, two, one. Nice, let it swing out. Carefully set it down. Now we are going into a calf raise, single leg calf raise. I am going to use the, the wall for support. You can use the wall for support if you need to. And I'm gonna hold on to one dumbbell. So the dumbbell is gonna be in the same side for the leg that is lifting. Holding onto the wall. Here we go. Now you don't have to hold onto the wall, but I need a little extra support. You can also do this without a dumbbell, but make sure you're holding it at the top for just a second. Control it down. Good, lift and lower. Almost there. And squeeze. Good, here's three, two, and one. Shake it out, same thing, same side. We'll finish out on this side, we'll switch it up, and then we have one exercise remaining. But let's get ready to go back into position. <clears throat> We've got three, two, here we go. And lift. Shoulders are rolled down and back. You don't need to think about pulling your shoulders up towards your ears. Keep everything relaxed right here. And you're not swinging forward to lift. Think about two walls. You're right in between two walls. And you don't have any place to go but up. I really do feel like sometimes the calf muscle is the forgotten muscle. So I really like to take time to focus on it throughout our lower body workouts. And last one. Nice, switching it up now. And so if you're using that dumbbell, make sure the dumbbell is on the same side for the leg that is lifting and lowering. So getting ready to go in three. Here's two, and let's lift. Here we go. Lift and lower. Lift, squeeze, and down. Take your time, hold it. Really get up on that toe to contract that calf muscle and down. Ooh, over halfway. Almost there. Last one, here's three. Two, whew, and one. One more time on that side, and then we're done. We're done with lower body. We're gonna finish up working the upper body. Whew. All right, going in five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Hold it at the top. I'm reminding you because I'm reminding myself. <laughs> I started going really quick. I was like, wait a second. We need to slow it back. <sighs> Good, we're over halfway. Lift, hold. <sighs> Exhale with the lift. Almost there. Here's three, two, 
Wow, awesome. All right, now, finishing out with the back, we are going to do a single arm row, two times each side. If you want to use a chair or something for support, just like this, you can do that. If not, you can use that other leg for support, core engaged, back flat. Let's get into position. We've got three, here's two, and one. Squeeze, good. Take your time, hold it at the top, squeeze, and down. Extend all the way, squeeze all the way up. Exhale as you're contracting right here. Up at the top, we're contracting the back muscles and exhaling and then down. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Good, one more time on that same side. 15 seconds, breathing, shake it out. You are rocking it. This has not been an easy workout. I told you right before we got started, it was gonna be tough, but you're almost there now. Finish out this side here. Grab your dumbbell in three, two, here we go. Make sure as you're rowing, you're keeping the wrist straight and you're not opening up the shoulder. So you don't wanna row yourself open here. So make sure everything's staying square here. Almost there. Good, this is the last one. We've got three, two, there we go. Switching it over, two sets left, and that is it. So get ready, switch it over. Again, you can use a chair or something for support if you need that. If not, you're using that leg in front. Grab the dumbbell, we've got three, two, and let's row. Squeeze and hold. Exhale with the squeeze. Keep your arm close to your body. Come on, you've hit the over halfway point for this set. Ten seconds. Good, here's three, two, and one. One more set, you got it, one more set. Whew. Let's get ready to go, 10 seconds, get back into position, this is it. Finish out strong, because you have almost made it. All right, three, two, here we go. Squeeze and row, and squeeze. Oh, isn't this fun? You get to enjoy the train and the sunshine today. The train's coming by, I hear it. What a good way to finish the workout. Come on, over halfway. All the way down, all the way up. Good, and here's three, two, and one. You are the bomb, for real, that was so tough. Oh my goodness. We will probably be feeling this tomorrow. So, do not forget to get a stretch that will help with muscle soreness. I will see you for the stretch, and I love you.